Hello gamers, it's Tom Seidner, the Lonely Gamer, and today's Thursday, November the 10th, 2016, and it's time for the news. So the first thing you're going to notice is I'm surrounded by some big figures here. This is a figure that just came from Tabletop Now in my Tyrants of Halpy expansion for Dungeon Saga. And it is a huge dragon. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. You can see here's a little um, figure, uh, character, and you can see the size difference. I have a huge figure here from Gollum Arcana, a game that I used to like to play, but unfortunately the company has uh, dropped support for this game. But I still like the figure. Beautiful figure. The reason I bring this up is because... The Kickstarter for Mythic Battles is in full swing. It's uh, up over $600,000 that they've, they've raised for this. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, check it out. Mythic Battles is put out by Monolith, the same company that it did Conan. I'm trying to pronounce Conan correctly, but I'm pretty sure if I'm doing it right, it's Conan, not Conan, which is the way I like to say it with my uh, Midwestern draw, but they made Conan, and the Mythic Battles has a huge Atlas figure that they just announced as one of the stretch goals, and it I've seen the guy holding it in the video, and it's got to be pretty close to this size. Um, it is a monstrosity of a figure. It looks really totally awesome. Of course, Atlas is one of the Titans, and it is a Titan in size for a figure. So, um, if you like things like that, if you like Greek mythology or mythology in general, then definitely go check out Mythic Battles on the on their Kickstarter page. I highly recommend it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the news. So, the first thing today, we'll do some things that released this week. There wasn't a lot uh, that released this week. It's been kind of a slow week, but um, uh, Gale Force Nine they released a really nice play mat for the Star Trek Ascendancy game. So if that's a game you're interested in, you might want to check out this beautiful playmat that they put out. Now, it doesn't have to be just used with Star Trek Ascendancy. This would be a good game for X-Wing or any other miniature space game that you might want to play on it. So check that out. Also, um, uh, let's see, Scythe has um, released a reprint of the original game. So if that's a game that you've been trying to get, but that you haven't been able to get your hands on, that there has been a reprint and several places have that for sale. Um, the Attack on Titan deck building game has been released now. That is out there for sale, so you can pick up a copy of that if that's something you're looking for. And I think that's about it. Um, Tyrants of Halpy is still available, but I can only find that from Tabletop Now. So if that's something you're looking at or looking for, you should go there because I have not been able to find that on any of the other um, for sale sites. Like I haven't, I haven't found it so far on Miniature Market, Cool Stuff Inc., or Amazon. So um, if you're looking for uh, that expansion, check out Tabletop now. All right, so what else do we got going on? We've got some conventions going on. Um, first of all, Board Game Geek Convention is going to be going on November 16th through the 20th. That's in uh, Dal Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. So if you're in that area, that's something that you may want to go to. I'm pretty far from Texas, so I will not be attending. But if you're in that area, that's a good one. Also, the tickets for Dice Tower Convention are going to go on sale November 15th. And from what I hear, they sell out pretty quick. That convention is in, o in Orlando, Florida. And that convention is July 5th through the 9th of 2017. So if that's something you're interested in, the tickets go on sale November 15th. Speaking of things that are happening on certain dates, the uh, holiday season is, is getting close at hand, and uh, we've got several Black Friday sales that are going to be popping up from different vendors, and a couple that I have got information on right now are, first of all, Weird. So if you're into Malifaux, Through the Breach, anything like that, Weird is going to be having their Black Friday sale. It's going to be November the 23rd through December the 2nd. They're going to have uh, early releases on their Black Friday sale, so they're going to have some uh, Twisted Fate figures that you cannot buy any place but that sale so far. Um, 
they're also going to have um, some uh, free figures. If you spend $150, then you're going to get uh, two free figures. And then if you spend $300, there's two different figures. And I'm not sure for sure. It doesn't really say if you spend $300, if you get all four of the figures. Or if you spend $300, you just get these two figures and $150, you get these. I'm not really clear on that, but you do get free figures depending on how much you spend. The other company that's uh, announced their Black Friday sales is Battle Foam. Battle Foam uh, is going to have their Black Friday sale November 24th through the 28th. And they say they're going to have a new bag with a brand new color. Now, color really doesn't matter to me. All my bags are black. But if you're into the fancy colors, I do like the white ones, uh, then they're going to have a special color for this sale. Um, I hope it's not black for Black Friday, but um, it's probably going to be some cool color. Um, anyway, they're saying that they're going to have 15 to 60% off on all of their items. So if you're a Battle Foam user, then definitely go check that one out as well. So there's been some announcements for games. Um, the first announcement is the Dresden Files. That's a cooperative card game um, where you play Harry Dresden, who is a private investigator wizard. Uh, that's put out by Evil Hat Games. Now, that game was a Kickstarter. The Kickstarter, I think, is pretty much winding down, and they're getting ready to start shipping those out to the... Um, backers for the Kickstarter, so you should be seeing that start to become available on uh, retail probably the end of this year, the beginning of next year. The other one is that Renegade Games, the game that brought you Clank, which is a really good game. I have a uh, review for that. Um, if you want to see that, I'll put that in the show notes. Um, they, they have a new game that they've announced called Castles of Kaladi. Uh, it is a tile placement game where you're building castles. There was a, an attack of some type, I think it was a dragon attack, that actually destroyed all the castles in the area. And so what you're doing is you're trying to build up castles using the pieces from all the torn down castles and whoever builds the most beautiful or the, the biggest or the um, most elaborate castle will win the game. It looks like a really nice game, so check that one out as well. All right, what else do we got here? We've got some uh, uh, Kickstarter news. Uh, the first Kickstarter news is a that I want to talk about is the game Destiny Aurora. Uh, that game is out on Kickstarter right now. It has about 28 days to go in the Kickstarter. Um, it is a really cool game because it kind of combines a space game with a adventure game. So what you do is you fly around space and you do stuff in space kind of like um, Zaya or something like that where you're flying around with your ship and you're completing missions in space but you also can go to a planet and there's a totally separate board which is a mission board and you can beam your party down to the planet and then you do a descent style um, adventure through that board to also gain points within the game so it looks pretty cool uh, if, if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you go over to Kickstarter and check that out that's Destiny Aurora Renegades the other one that is winding up, so if this one is something that you're interested in, is the Edge Downfall. Now, the Edge Downfall is a miniature skirmish game, but it's played on a board. And uh, I like miniature skirmish games. I like Malifaux. Uh, it's one of my favorites, but one of the things that's a pain is measuring and, and doing all that stuff. And the nice thing is this game, this uh, Edge Downfall, uses a board with hex-type uh, spaces on there and the, the cool thing is the way they did it is they have different sized characters with different sized bases kind of like Malifaux but the small bases are a single hex and then the larger bases might be three hexes hooked together or two hexes hooked together and then the large bases would be a entire hex cube hooked together so there's different sized bases that can move around on the board I think there's um, I think there's card based um, play, there's dice rolling, uh, looks like there's some resource management, some small resource management in it. Large figures can actually push other figures out of the way uh, when they're moving and stuff like that. So it looks like a pretty cool game. Beautiful, beautiful miniatures. Uh, looks like you can buy the base game and then you can buy these miniature packs that come with fa like a faction pack that has several miniatures in the pack. Uh, there's a lot of different 
options for that game on the Kickstarter. That game has about four days left to go. So if that sounds really interesting to you, then go ahead and get over there and take a look as quickly as possible because it's got about four days until that one ends. All right, the other thing I want to talk about is something I meant to talk about last week and I actually forgot, but um, if you were a Kickstarter of the Myth um, Journeyman Kickstarter, then that has been shipped. And I think at this point, most people who were in that should have received your base expansion games. Now, they did not ship out any of the uh, Kickstarter exclusives or the stretch goals or anything like that yet, but they did ship the two base games, which were Blackwall Warrens and the Shores of, Con Shores of Conus. Uh, I got mine. I did an unboxing video for mine, so if you want to see that, I will put that in the show notes so you can check that out. Uh, but um, really beautiful components, really nice game. Can't wait to get back to playing Myth again. Um, my game group played it for a while. We played through uh, the free module that they uh, gave us and that was really good. So there's two new modules in the new expansion. The one thing that I'm not 100% um, stoked about is both modules have the same exact first um, scenario. So you kind of, instead of having three sections in each one, they really only have three sections in one, two in the other because the first one is the same and when you go through the first one then you make a decision do I want to go the Blackwall Warren's path or do I want to go the Shores of Canis path I really kinda of wish they would have just added a fourth little story section whatever you want to call it in there for the split and then had three uh, acts in each one I think they call them acts in each one instead of having the really kind of two different acts in each one but anyway that's a small complaint the stretch goals that I've got coming, I think I've got another 10 uh, modules coming, so that's kind of cool. So I'll have plenty of modules to play through once I, I get those. But for now, I do have what came in the uh, base expansions, and I'm very excited about playing it. And if you kickstarted that game, you should have yours now or very, very soon. Okay, well, I think that's it for this week. That's all I have on my list. So I will see you again next Thursday for more news. And until I see you again... Happy gaming! Hello gamers, it's Tom Seidner, the Lonely Gamer, and today's Thursday, November the 10th, 2016, and it's time for the news. So the first thing you're going to notice is I'm surrounded by some big figures here. This is a figure that just came from Tabletop Now in my Tyrants of Halpy expansion for Dungeon Saga. And it is a huge dragon. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. You can see here's a little um, figure, uh, character, and you can see the size difference. I have a huge figure here from Gollum Arcana, a game that I used to like to play, but unfortunately the company has uh, dropped support for this game. But I still like the figure. Beautiful figure. The reason I bring this up is because... The Kickstarter for Mythic Battles is in full swing. It's uh, up over $600,000 that they've, they've raised for this. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, check it out. Mythic Battles is put out by Monolith, the same company that it did Conan. I'm trying to pronounce Conan correctly, but I'm pretty sure if I'm doing it right, it's Conan, not Conan, which is the way I like to say it with my uh, Midwestern draw, but they made Conan, and the Mythic Battles has a huge Atlas figure that they just announced as one of the stretch goals, and it I've seen the guy holding it in the video, and it's got to be pretty close to this size. Um, it is a monstrosity of a figure. It looks really totally awesome. Of course, Atlas is one of the Titans, and it is a Titan in size for a figure. So, um, if you like things like that, if you like Greek mythology or mythology in general, then definitely go check out Mythic Battles on the on their Kickstarter page. I highly recommend it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the news. So the first thing today, we'll do some things that released this week. There wasn't a lot uh, that released this week. It's been kind of a slow week, but um, uh, Gale Force Nine they released a really nice play mat for the Star Trek Ascendancy game. So if that's a game you're interested in, you might want to check out this beautiful 
play mat that they put out. Now, it doesn't have to be just used with Star Trek Ascendancy. This would be a good game for X-Wing or any other miniature space game that you might want to play on it. So check that out. Also, um, uh, let's see, Scythe has um, released a reprint of the original game. So if that's a game that you've been trying to get but that you haven't been able to get your hands on, that there has been a reprint and several places have that for sale. Um, the Attack on Titan deck building game has been released now. That is out there for sale, so you can pick up a copy of that if that's something you're looking for. And I think that's about it. Uh, Tyrants of Halpy is still available, but I can only find that from Tabletop Now. So if that's something you're looking at or looking for, you should go there because I have not been able to find that on any of the other um, for sale sites. Like I haven't, I haven't found it so far on Miniature Market, Cool Stuff Inc., or Amazon. So, um, if you're looking for uh, that expansion, check out Tabletop now. Alright, so what else do we got going on? We've got some conventions going on. Um, first of all, Board Game Geek Convention is going to be going on November 